much. It's uh, wonderful to see all you here today. My name is John McEwen. Uh, my wife, Christiane, uh, we moved out here in uh, 99, uh, 91 to the uh, Clara homestead. We live in Tom and Annie Clara's house. We will always live in Tom and Annie Clara's house. My uh, good friend and neighbor, Charlie Clara, when we first moved out there, he said, uh, so, so you related to uh, Fraser and Orville McEwen? I said, yes, yes, that's me. He said, who are you? I said, well, I'm first his grandson. And uh, now son, he's the one who makes entries in town. He says, oh, well, that'd be all right. That'd be just all right. <laughs> so my wife, so I'm at the neighbors, said, how'd it go? I said, well, it's going to be all right. Everything will be just fine. Get out the morning. Absolutely. Now, as I mentioned, my dad, he made dentures for 20 years. He created the Ontario Dental Ferris Peak. Society out of nothing. It took them 20 year battle with the province of Ontario so that he could make their insurance and fit them directly into their mouth. I learned politics, that gets me over the course of that 20 years. Uh, when we moved back to Kingston, uh, he bought this little tractor. I got into uh, construction and I just loved it. Uh, well, I put myself to two universities uh, running heavy equipment. And boy, when you get in that seat, you get a ringside seat of the entire world. There is nothing I didn't see. And I was working for the best and worst in Kingston. I worked for Kinley one day and I worked for Sun Builders the next. Kinley Corporation taught me a huge amount of how not to build a house. Ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. I mean, there are good builders, there are good building inspectors, there are good chief building officials, but the system is not there to make that happen. Certainly not in case, and that is not my experience. The weeping tiles were not connected to anything, the walls were not waterproof. This house was just not fit for habitation, yet they built 22,000 of them over the course of 76 through to 2007. Ridiculous. I had to go back to provincial and change that. It took me 20 years to change the building code to make chief building officials responsible for the code, which makes them responsible to you, the people paying the bills, the people who are going to live in those houses in the future. I do not want to curse those people. 20 years, and I guess most people know I'm tied in with liberal politics. And uh, when I say John, Jim, Rick, and Kathy, I mean four ministers of housing that I was personally acquainted with to get what I wanted. Um, I also had help. I had to go around and wonder why the house gets screwed up. It's because three levels of government are involved in the construction. I had to go back to the, to the federal government and rewrite their book to make sure that the National Building Code said exactly what I wanted to say. And it does. Apparently, National Building shows Child should be connected to something and houses should be waterproof. Now, what I want to do as mayor is bring our houses up to the standards created in 1976 to meet the conditions of the 21st century. The Minister of Environment is now called the Minister of Environment and Climate Change for a reason. Those storms are coming. we got to be ready for it. This all falls into my big vision and a new direction for our South Frontenac. I see four areas here. Thank you. Waterfront, rural, village, and Sydney. Waterfront's frozen. Rural, the buildings need habitat too. Our villages, we have to be slow growth. Slow growth in the rural, slow growth in the villages. Sydney, different story. And I'm out of time. Thanks so much.